been a long time since I made a video. And this is just for the Google Plus, just to show everybody what I'm working on. So, <clears throat> solid state Tesla coil, the EVS driver. <coughs> I just got done shortening all the leads here. Tesla Explorer uh, mentioned trying to move this as, as close as possible here to the coil. Uh, still gotta run these gates separately because these uh, gate resistors they get mighty hot, mighty quick. Yeah. Ooh, let's see. I think that's nine. I was running it at ten. Not the, not this one. Just not ten. Pretty good output. Nine's pretty good too. Uh, I think when I ran it at eight or seven point five started to get worse so I don't know this could be the best that I could do I don't know if running the gate separately is going to improve anything I mean it'll definitely improve these not getting so wickedly hot um, there's no breakout still this is 387 kilohertz now uh, because of these two top loads there's the toroid and this is basically a spear uh, smushed down as sparky um, clarified. So, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty cool, though. I, can, I can't run it for too long. I'm actually running it at, a uh, about 65 volts. Actually gives me the best output. Uh, probably pretty bad, but, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, it'll light everything up. good stuff. I gotta get a switch for this power supply, but yeah. You know, if I even run it just for that long, yeah, I mean, I could smell it, because I was wondering what I was smelling the other day. I was like, okay, maybe it's the MOSFETs burning up, but it's not, because the, the, these can run at incredibly high frequencies, these uh, MOSFETs, the IRFP 250Ns. So, it's just the gate resistors, really. Nothing else is really having a problem, obviously. Well, it's pretty cold. Uh, let's see here, make a turn off one of these lights here. Oops, that's wrong thing. <laughs> that was a very act, and there we go. Do some, uh, where's my light bulb? I'm gonna do a little light bulb trick. And they're burned, burned a hole in there. Yeah. Or, uh, let's see here. Let me do this. Neon. <laughs> so, yeah. Nothing special. Sorry for the shaky camera work. <laughs> this is what I've been working on. Ah. So, yeah. If you guys have any more suggestions or anything like that, like I said, I'll probably run the gates in a separate supply. Uh, Tesla Explorer did suggest lowering, starting at 3 nanofarads and working my way up, but, you know, as I said, when I started lowering, um, the capacitance from, you know, between 10, 9, and 8, it started getting pretty, yeah. So, yeah, I've been using calculators, um, my meter, yeah. You know, I also have this I can work, or I could use, uh, if I can pull it out, without dropping a bunch of shit, I'm going to clean up my workshop. Um, TL 949 here, basically half bridge. Um, this MOSFET's dead, and I was running it on a flyback and uh, 24 volts, and I guess too much inductive kick from the flyback 
we actually kill both the FETs. That one, that one's a replacement. So maybe I can do this because that works on the same, uh, um, you know, two four tap and a, and a center tap primary. Or uh, Sparky suggested I could do this. You know, just get a couple of ferrite cores and make an isolation transformer, basically with a five, you know, four and four or five and five turn tap on one side. And then, uh, you know, basically a 10 turn and obviously make a new primary with 10 turns on there or less. I'm not sure. Uh, that'll have to wait until someday. But, yep. Yeah. Take it easy, guys. Hope you like it. This is, it. This is my solid set Tesla coil so far. Cheers.